Welcome, I'm Jason with Serico Robotics. Today we're gonna go over the new version of our software. We took our certified applicators feedback and improved upon version one. First things first, we've got a maintenance log. This will show you when the last batteries were changed. You can input when you changed fluid lines. We've also got a Wi-Fi pop-up. So you have the option to scan for other networks and also look at the current network connectivity that you have. For program selection screen, it also has a new look. This includes filters, filters by part kind, filters by color, or just a full list of the programs that are on your robot. For example, if I'm just spraying H267, it's going to show me just the two programs I currently have. We've also got the option for reminders or pop-ups. When you select a program, if there's a pertinent detail that we feel you need to see, it will pop up. For example, this is a three-coat program. Nice little reminder. Outside of that, your run program screen is more of a dashboard or heads-up display style. You've got pot life timers, so once you input your lot number, your mixing ratio, and total grams loaded, it will create a pot life timer that will turn red after two hours when the coating is no longer usable. You've also got a purge timer. So instead of having a, uh, a normal timer or a timer on your phone nearby where you're constantly checking to see if you're within a three or 10 minute window, this will turn red or prompt you to run a purge depending on how, how much time has elapsed since the unit last ran. Also is your setup info. This is heads up right in front of you. Magnet locations, fluid needle settings for the spray guns, as well as air cap orientation. You still have a setup PDF style display showing pictures of where parts need to be oriented and direction of orientation. Also new is pictures of air cap orientation. This helps clear up any confusion that the operator may have. The new software tracks batch data, which allows supervisors to look at efficiency from operator to operator or shift to shift. Run status shows you available gallons. There is no longer the need to input manual serial codes for each quart you're loading up. This is all done internally within the system. You've got a run status or run completion number as well as a current status of idle or running. Your trim settings will look very similar to the old software. The functionality of going up or down with your pot fan and atom pressures will be the same. For ending a batch, you have two options. You can outright end the batch to select a different you know, coding or different program. You also have the option to carry over the pot. So instead of having to re-enter all of that vital coding information or serial codes when you go to a new program, this will carry over all of the information you've already done and allow you to run a purge, coupons, whatever it may be, and start the new run. After ending a batch, let's take a look at the maintenance menu. This is now a pop-up. You're gonna have the similar buttons you had before. One new one's a refresh. So if the system's season up on you, you always have the option just to refresh. You'll still have go home, purge functionalities, toggle gun functionalities, as well as a clean system button located here. Something to note is when you're in a program, you'll no longer have that clean system button on the maintenance pop-up. You'll instead have a coupon button. This just prevents any mistakes from being made of accident, accidental coding waste. If you have any other questions regarding the software, feel free to reach out to robotics at nicindustries.com.